down at Gateway Marina on Hyannis Harbor and we're at our Hyannis Oyster Upweller project. And this project has been going on for the last three years and it's a partnership between Barnstable Clean Water Coalition, the Massachusetts Oyster Project and the town of Barnstable. And what we're doing is we're raising oysters in this tank, the Upweller is, is a tank, and we're raising oysters from tiny little, they look like specks of sand, they're about one millimeter when we first get them and we put them in this tank, they're put into buckets, and what we do is we pump water directly from Hyannis Harbor. Uh, the water comes up through these buckets. The water's providing both a source of oxygen and a source of food for the oysters. And then when the water comes out of the buckets, you can see how the oysters are not only feeding, but they're, they're cleaning and clearing the water. And the water that comes out is clean and clear, and it goes back down into Hyannis Harbor. What I've been doing with the Upweller all summer is I've been maintaining and cleaning all the oysters. We have four boxes where we cut off the bonds and we put a mesh there. And there's different sizes of mesh. So the biggest mesh is at the top and the smallest mesh is at the bottom. So we dump oysters in there and we will spray the hose down, kind of like, you know, try to fit them through the mesh so that we know what size buckets they can go into because as they grow, they need more uh, water flow in order to grow properly. We're trying to show that Oysters are good for cleaning, clearing water, improving water quality, using, again, water coming out of Hyannis Harbor, which isn't exactly clean water. Uh, it's a little brown, a little dirty when it comes into the tank. It's showing that there is actual food in the water for the oysters. Uh, they feed on phytoplankton and algae. Um, they're also bringing up sediment as well. And again, that's something that they're clearing out. Um, and then as the oysters continue to grow, we grow them till they're about uh, 25 millimeters, which is about an inch. And at that point, we're taking them out of the tank and we're handing them over to the shellfish technicians in the town of Barnstable. And as part of their shellfish propagation program, they're taking the oysters when they reach that one inch size and we're putting them out into Katuit Bay where they'll continue to grow and continue to improve water quality. So we basically clean the tank on a daily basis to make sure that there's like not, we're not impeding the oysters growth and to make sure that they're actually growing as quickly as possible. So we'll scrub down the tank to make sure that there's like no algae going on the sides, spray down the buckets to make sure that there's no like leftover mud coming from the harbor into the tank and impeding the oysters growth. And then we do water quality testing, which includes dissolved oxygen, nitrogen, uh, the amount of salt, water, salt in the water along with temperature. The thing that I've enjoyed most so far is probably watching the oysters actually grow and being able to like see that life cycle take place and actually like be able to be a part of that and like see how quickly they're able to grow and like mature. And like within eight weeks they've already been like at this point in time they're almost ready to be planted out in my uh, Katuit Bay where they end up go growing to like three inches after their one inch. We put in our first batch at the beginning of June, and that was about 60,000 oyster spat. And we added the second batch of another 60,000 oyster spat uh, in late June. Here at Hyannis Harbor, uh, we have a really great combination of we've got warmer water, we have more nutrients and food in the water here. So we're one of the few upwellers in this partnership program with Mass Oyster Project that can grow that many oysters in one season. In 2019, we decided to see how many more oysters we could grow. So we started again with 60,000 in early June last year, and then again, probably early July, we did a second round of 60,000, and we were able to grow a total of 120,000 last year. We're trying to replicate that again this year by growing another two batches and, and getting as many oysters out into Katuit Bay, uh, cleaning and clearing up the water.